guys, this is Taryn at the Girls Inc. studio in Las Vegas, and welcome to Tatter Fact. Today, I have a super interesting guest. I got a lawyer, and her name is Gina Bon Jovi. Welcome, Gina. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Yeah. Not so Van Halen, Bon Jovi. Bon jo- <laughs> well, uh, yeah, David Lee Roth, <laughs> Van Halen. <laughs> so were you more of a Van Halen fan or a Bon Jovi fan? I was pretty true to that I was a Bon Jovi fan. You're a Bon Jovi. Well, yeah. he's cuter. He is cuter. He is cuter. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. aging better. <laughs> and he's aging but than David Lee Roth. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I know. I'll have to Google and see what he looks like now. But um, yeah, so, but, and I learned this from you because we were talking a little bit before the show that, so you spell your name B O N G I O V I. Right. And he spells his B O N J O V I. Right. But you, for enlight- the band. For the band. Yeah. Because the, his name is spelled the same way my name is spelled. Right. But it gets butchered on the regular. So it's, he just phonetically spelled it for the band. B O N J. J. O V I. Yeah. Bon Jovi. Yeah, but... It's hard to screw up when it's B O N, like, yeah. Bon Jovi. You can sound it out. Well, I think, and it, <laughs> like, mean, hooked on phonics. Yeah, no offense to you, but I guess it looks cooler on an album cover, right? Oh, the, for sure. Spelled like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, so you could be related. Supposedly distant cousin, but I've not had you an opportunity the, to you confirm. You got to the DNA thing. I know, but well, the people I know I'm related to, I don't want to be related to. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to find out about others. Yeah, yeah. No, but that would be interesting. It that would, would be interesting. interesting. Yeah. I, I did the DNA thing and I, I came up with nothing. My dad was scared to death because he's in the military and he was stationed overseas. So oh, I, no. I kept teasing him. Well, dad, I'm going to find out if I got a half brother or sister somewhere. He was like, oh, which... And I didn't. So, you know, so well, I have it... two friends that found like adopted families, like bio families. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. And what's so funny, why I was teasing my dad is because I had just watched that like on a Dr. Phil or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. She just d- did a genealogy test just for the hell of it, expecting nothing. And come to find out, she had a half sister. Oh my god! And and the dad didn't, her father didn't know. No one knew. And it was when he was stationed overseas. I want to say in Vietnam. Yes. I want to be a fly on the wall at that next Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it was like a two part series, and and it, it did all work out really well. Oh, good. I mean, they, they they met. I mean, she flew over to the United States. Oh she god. met. Um, the dad and it, it was a beautiful thing. I remember the dad being really emotional and crying, and it ended up being a beautiful thing. But I'm sure it's not always a beautiful thing, right? <laughs> right? You right. never, you never know. Uh-huh.